ating lahat sa lahat ng nagkinig at uh, nanonood ng ating live streaming nowadays and I uh, would like to work today with all of you uh, uh, from Visayas, Luzon, and Mindanao at sa all nations of the world Nabibis ko na po kayo mga kapatid, especially the Ipoy family, the pastors, missionaries, all over the Philippines and all over the world. Uh, I miss you so much for this uh, time of crisis. That's why through this uh, social media, we are about to reach you by giving you some uh, inspirations from the Word of God that will lift up your spiritual life during this crisis. So, don't forget to subscribe our Inui YouTube channels and uh, in our uh, uh, FB, uh, Instagram, and Twitter, and also social media uh, technology technology we are using now to uh, spread out the good news of the kingdom. Now this morning, uh, let us uh, open our Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 to 27. I am reading in King James versions. Therefore, whoever hears this saying of mine and does them, I will let him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blow and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears the sake of mine and does not do them will be like a false man who built his house on the sun. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. God bless the reading of the word. Now, this morning I would like to share the topic about faith that is built on the rock. Nowadays, this uh, topic is so important for us since we are in the midst of crisis. So what is faith? According to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, faith is a substance of things for for the evidence of things not seen. So faith is trust, in other definition, faith is trust, faith is a belief of a person. So faith is the evidence of things not seen. In other words, faith is the assurance, faith is the guarantee of the things that you want to see but you do not see yet. So faith is uh, to see the things that you don't see in your physical eyes. Now, why build our faith on the rock? Who is the rock? The Bible says in uh, Psalms 31 verse 3, Psalms 31 verse 3, we will find here, if who is the rock? You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Now, in the Bible, it is very clear that the solid rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. So, this morning, we will speak about what rock you bear your faith. Kalino mo 
itinatayo at saan na bagay mo tinatayo ang iyong panagalataya. You know what is trying time we need to really uh, make our faith strong. Kinakailangan natin na sa panang ito ay maging matatal ang ating panagalataya. Lalo na napakarami, a lot of circumstances, a lot of uh, trials, a lot, a lot of hardship that the people around the world are facing. But the question, if your faith is built on the rock, then we are sure that we are all an overcomer. Alam kasi, sometimes many people, they, they, their faith was built on their resources. Their faith was built upon their skills, their money, their uh, material things, their ability or their powers. But today, as we notice that no things in this world today that we can solidly trust or rely our life other than the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in my heart that the people who can really survive this crisis nowadays is the people who really founded their faith, their trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya mag-isip-isip po tayo, kanino, kanino mo po ba? Saan mo ba? Dito tayo ang panagpanataya mo. Kasi kung if your faith just built on the sun, then, sabi ng Bible, kapag ang bahay nakatayo sa buhangin, konting tubig na guguho babagsak ang bahay. Bakit ang buhangin ay isang malambot na lugar? Isang malambot na bahagi ng lupa na hindi ito maasahan. So that's why the house builder knows how, where to build their houses. Now, it is important for us this morning to build our faith on the rock. That rock is Jesus Christ. The foundation of our faith. So, why we need to build our faith on the rock? Why? Number one, because we need to become strong in times of crisis. So many people today, they are worried, they are anxious, anxious they are, uh, uh, they cannot sleep. Uh, they are not at peace at all because they are worried about the things that they need. But if we trust Jesus Christ, we can still sleep well. We can stay at home relaxed. We trust in the Lord that in the midst of the problems that we are facing for, the Lord is there behind us, helping us, looking to us, and really to comfort us and even to provide our needs. That's why right. we need to become strong. You need to become strong. Kailangan tayo magpakatatag, mga kapatid, sa oras ng krisis. Huwag natin ilayo ang ating pagtitiwala sa Diyos. Everything in this world is under decay. Everything in this world is subject to collapse. But our God never fails. But our God will never leave us nor forsake us. That's why, that's why we need to bear our faith on the rock. Jesus Christ, so that we will remain strong even in the midst of crisis. We will be strong and even after the crisis, we are still strong and we can move forward for the things that God wants us 
to do. Now the second thing is that so that we will become victorious even in the midst of crisis. Do you want to become victorious? Or do you want to become defeated? Do you want to become success? Successful or do you want to pay? It's a matter of how you desire. But the Lord wants us to become victorious. If we trust Him, if we serve Him, then we can 100% assure that we are more than victorious through Jesus Christ, our solid rock. Jesus is the solid rock. He is the foundation. He is the creator of the world. And He is the life giver. He is the source of everything that we need. Just continue to trust the Lord. So, victory can obtain through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never fails. God never fails. Things in this world is something to fail. People is something to fail. But Jesus Christ never fails. Because He is omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent God. He knows everything. He is everywhere present. And He is all-powerful. The third one is why we need our faith to build on the rock. Because Jesus said, build your faith in the rock, in the solid rock. Who is Jesus Christ? Or who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a solid rock. So, that's why in the midst of problem, in the midst of needs, in the midst of crisis, we will continue to trust in God. We will continue to serve Him. No matter what happens in our lives, no matter what happens in this world, we will continue to serve. We will not depart our faith in God. We will never give up in serving Him. Now the second point that I'm going to share this morning is how to build your faith on God. So I give you three reasons why we need to build our faith on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Now today we will talk about how to build your faith. Maybe you are asking, I want to build my faith on the rock, Jesus Christ, but how can I build my faith on the rock? Now first, we must be assured that we have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the first steps. Make sure that you are a believer. We are a believer. We are a followers of Jesus Christ. Now the question is, how to become a believer? Because in Matthew 7, 21, it says there, Matthew 7, 21, Jesus said, Not all call unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but to those who obey the will of my Father. Not all calling Jesus a real disciple. Not all people calling Jesus a real children of God. Because many people calling Jesus, praying Jesus, praying to God. But the Bible says, they will not enter into heaven only those who actually know the will of my Father in heaven. If you are doing the will of the Father, doing the will of the Father in heaven, and if you believe Jesus Christ, and you accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior, and you repent from your sin, then you are a children of God. You are a real sons of God and daughters of God. So number one step how to build your faith on the rock is make sure that you are a believer. Make sure that you believe in God, you repent from your sin, and then you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Because that is very important for a person how to build his faith on the rock. Now the second thing is that build your faith 
in the solid rock, Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, it is here. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Let us read. And all of them drank the same spiritual water. For they drank from the spiritual rock that traveled with them. And that rock was Christ. So Jesus encouraging us to found it to build our faith in Him. No other foundation that is so solid and so strong aside from our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you want to build your house, build it the rock. So if you want to build your faith, build your faith in the rock. Build our faith, our trust in Jesus Christ. There is nothing wrong of trusting our resources, our money, our ability, our power, our skill, what, whatever things that we have in this life. But remember, all things in this world is subject to collapse. But only Jesus Christ will remain strong, will remain standing in the midst of crisis because he's the one who controls the world. So it is important to build our faith in Jesus Christ so that if the world collapse, if the economy will collapse, if the health will collapse, then you are still secure of your life, of your faith, of your relationship with Jesus Christ. And I believe if the rapture comes, before the rapture comes, Jesus will rapture the church. The Lord Jesus will come up us in heaven before the before the revolution starts. So we need to be assured that we are really sons and daughters of God. Now number three, how to build your faith on the rock? We must listen the word of God written in the Bible. As we read in Matthew chapter 7 verse 24, Therefore, who even hear this saying of mine and does them, I will like him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. We must listen. It's not wrong to listen to somebody else around us. It's not wrong to listen to the news that we hear, but it's more important. If we listen today, we must listen first to the Word of God. Because the Word of God and God is the same. When we listen to the Word of God, the Word of God is the clear instructions of what we are going to do especially in this trying time of our life. We must listen what the Bible teaches us what to do, what to prepare in this time of crisis. So, because it is here, those who listen, he is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So those who listen to the word of God, he is like a wise man. He is a brilliant man or a woman who built his house in the land. It means to say that when you listen to the word of God, you are more closer to God. You are more protected by God. You are more favored by God if we listen to the word of God. Because no other word that we need to listen today that we will give first priority is the word of God. Because if we listen to the news, if we listen to the social media sometimes, if we listen the people around us sometimes, we are tend to fear, we are so discouraged, 
So we are so hopeless and we are tend to worry many things because of the news around us. That the people who is affected with the COVID-19, the people who are dying, the COVID-19 is so high and then people have a spurred heart and mind that maybe they will be the next one. That's why instead of visiting the news, nothing wrong to listen to the news, but first of all, we must listen the word of God to give us hope. Amen? The only thing that can give us hope is the word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. In this hopeless scenario, in this hopeless nation, hopeless world, in this world who is under chaos, under crisis, the Lord can give us assurance how to stand firm, strong, until the day of the Lord. Now the last one is that we must put into practice what we hear from the Word of God and live continuously serve the Lord faithfully. Now the Lord wants us not just to listen but to put it into practice. That's why he said, Therefore, whoever heard the same of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. So Jesus invites us that we should not only listen to the word of God, but we will put it into practice. In James chapter 1, verse 25, it is also there that the one who is to be blessed by the Lord, according to this verse. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. That's why the importance, my brothers and sisters today, makinig kayo mabuti. Marami tayong narinig sa world God. We have read a lot of the word. We have heard a lot of the word. But the question is, are you putting it into practice? Marami kang nalaman. Marami kang nabasa. Marami kang narinig. Ang tanong, is ina sa buhay naman natin. Alam mo sabi ng Bible, sa James, ang tao, na nakaalam ng mabuti, a person who knew what is good, what is right, but he didn't do it, he commit mistake. In other words, in the Bible, in James, it says there that faith without work is dead. The body without spirit is dead. So the same thing that faith without action is nothing. That's why I am encouraging our people, my faithful brothers and the Lord today. I want you to, because you have a lot of time in your house, we are all going to have a lot of time to do it, and we are all going to have a lot of time in the house. So I tell you, you have a lot of time to do it, and you have a lot of time to do it. Mag-serve kayo sa iyo po. Isolve ko sa iyo house. Di ba? 24-7 na sa bahay niya. Nainim ka na nga eh. You're so uh, boring in your house. Pero ano ba gawin mo? Puro lang pa panood ng TV? Puro lang pa panood ng buwan-ano? No? Alam no? mo, kami sa bahay, I, 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 I share this to you. We have our Bible study, two hours in the evening and two hours in a day. Ang dami namin na-discover. Ang dami namin na-tumasan sa Bible. So all my family, with my grandchildren, we can have Bible study two, two times a day. A total of four hours a day. 
not just eating and singing and saying movie, saying a uh, news, but today in this crisis, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go back to the Lord. Read your Bible. Study the Bible. Pray. Have a cell. Come on. Maybe some of you will say, Oh, I don't know how to live. How to teach the Bible in my family. Makinig ka tatay at nanay. Ate at kuya. Hindi na kailangan na marunong ka magturo. Ganito gawin mo. Igatero mo ang mong pamilya mula sa nanay, tatay, tatay, nanay, mga anak, mga ako. Gatero sila lahat. And then, of course, number one, you have to pray. If you want to say something, one song that you didn't say. Then after that, open the Bible. I suggest to, if you want to start in Matthew or John or Genesis. Kami, we started from Genesis. And now we are in Deuteronomy na. Nasa Deuteronomy na kami. Ang dami namin na kumpasan. Na-discover namin sa anyong DDP, sa anyong sunog at gumura, kung ba't sa ngayon yan, sa anyong Rally of Eden. A lot of story in the Bible, very exciting to know how the Lord used the people before and how the Christianity was spread out, how the disciples, and the men men at Ogasan. Ang gagawin nyo, ganito lang, bawang isa, yung marunong Ogasan, magbasa ng pagdadalawa ng salita. O, dalawang verse, kami ginawa namin, five verses kami ang din-explain. So, kasi, naroon naman kami, pati yung mga po, five verses in the Bible, and then after you read, explain. Now, sa abot kaya mo, explain, ipaliwanan mo lang, nung di ko kaya, then somebody will take over. Halimbawa, binasa ni Kylie, hindi niya ma-explain, binasa niya, hindi niya ma-explain, then I will come up. Kaya ito yun. So, natuto sila ha. Natuto sila how to pray, natuto sila how to explain, natuto sila lahat. Ganyan din kami ninyo. Natutubas si Lord mag ginagin naman natin. Let them read. Or one verse lang. Sige, one verse or two verse lang. And then, then sing it. Masaya ko lang, padalo. According to your, of course, the Holy Spirit will guide you. That's how simply to study. No need na kailangan magaling ka sa Bible, magaling ka mag-toro, magaling ka mag-preach in order for you to conduct a Bible study in your house. That's why I am encouraging all the young people in your house, the father and mother in your house today. This is the new normal. We don't know when the normal come back again. Because in this time, we are in the new normal situation. The new normal that di na tayo pwede magtanggal ng mas pag lumabas ka ng bahay. The new normal din ka na pwede lumabas lahat ang panahon. The new normal, lahat ng tindahan may hangat ng plastic. Lahat may social distancing. That is your normal. The new normal of uh, our spiritual life is through social media. Kaya nga, salamat na Lord, there is a social media that we can still connect to you and give in your life streaming word of God. Use the social media. You can see, uh, you can uh, see the YouTube in our uh, MOA YouTube channel. Napakaraming videos, napakaraming mga word of God pa rin natin yan. Lahat ng ating live streaming naka-YouTube po ito. Pag di mo mapanood na yung live streaming, mamaya nalunan sa YouTube ito. Mapalawag ko na lahat ng ating videos. At kung natin kalimutan mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel at mag-like, mag-share, mag-comment. I-share natin sa ating mga mga anak. Kasi ito po, eh, this is the new normal. How can we go to your house? There is a ACQ, GCQ now. That's why through this social media, we can communicate, we can encourage you to do a self-competing in your house by reading its Pass it in the Bible and explain it and then pray together. And then, that's it. Nakapagkalap na kayo ng worship by God. And then, don't forget also uh, to conduct your opening to the Lord even you are inside the house. That, because that is part of your worship to the Lord. 
So this is the thing that I want to share this, this uh, morning about the importance of our faith that is very good. Para pag umating yung mga problema, matititi pa dito, mga kapatid. If there is more crisis, more than this crisis, we are okay. We are ready. We are secure of our faith. So I will pray today. Father God, thank you so much for your word. Salamat sa iyong salita na nagbibigay ng lakas sa aming Panginoon para po kami ay patuloy yung makasa ng aming spiritual life. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, ang lahat na nakikinig at nanood ang aming live streaming sa oras nito. At hindi mo sila, Ama, pagpapalain mo sila, Lord, ang kanilang pamilya. Lord, I encourage them to conduct Bible study daily in their house, in their family, Just read the Bible and ask the Holy Spirit to help you to understand. Panginoon, pagpalain mo sa iyo, ngatan mo sila sa COVID-19. Lord, isip mo ang mga anak mo, Panginoon, at pagpalain mo ang aming gobyerno. Pagpalain mo ang lahat ng, ng mga pro-timers. Pagpalain mo ang mga uh, lahat ng Christiano, lahat ng pastors, missionary, uh, leader, church leader. Church worker, church believer ng lahat ng Kristiyano sa buong daigin. Pagpalain mo, Panginoon, is na salita in OI family. In list mo ang mga pastors, missionaries, primary child, G12, city leaders, in list mo, Panginoon. Ang lahat ng mga believers, lahat ng mga tao sa mundo, Panginoon, even the non-believers, the non-Christian yet, I pray, Lord, that today is a day of your Father God, I declare blessing upon their life. I declare provision. I declare promotion. I declare protection upon this COVID-19. In the name of Jesus Christ, lukuban mo, Panginoon, patuloy ang iyong anak na hindi sila madapuan ng COVID-19. And Lord, continue to supply all their needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Patuloy mo ito po na, O Diyos, ang kanila mga pangilang. Let the peace of Christ be upon their heart. Let the joy of the Lord be upon their family right now. Let the peace of God be upon their life, in their family, in the Lord Jesus. Pagpapalain mo sila, Panginoon. Ang mga tunay mong anak na nagpalataya sa iyong Panginoon, patuloy mo sila kiligtas. Maraming salamat po, Ama. Patuloy namin kayong pinupuri, sinasamba, hindi na nabalikan sa mga pangyarihan ng pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen.